Hey everyone, today uh, I'm kicking around the idea of uh, rebuilding the cloud just so that I can go through the install of the region uh, again and create a video. Uh, but we've done all this work with these images and instances. You know, I've actually done some work on, on some of these and I don't want to lose my changes. I don't want to lose uh, the configurations that I've created. So uh, now is a great time to uh, talk about how to download Glance images <clears throat> and create snapshots to create images so that we can keep them and upload them to Glance at a later time or a different cloud or or whatever you need to do. So, uh, for instance, this web image right here, I've got a pretty extensive web server on there and I, I want to keep it. So what you can do is just create a snapshot and when you hit create snapshot <clears throat> it will show you in images this is a snapshot you can name it whatever you want well let's just go ahead and do it here we'll delete this one now go into instances and just hit create snapshot call it whatever you want and then go back to it will take you to images and it's going to save that as a snapshot also we created this windows image out here and if you watch that video uh, you'll know how difficult it was to create it so I want to keep that as well so basically what we need to do is go to command line and talk to Glance and say, hey, I want to download these images and store them someplace. So during the rebuild, we're not going to actually affect the MAS server. Let's get into MAS uh, SSH. We won't affect MAS because you can just do the sudo updates to update MAS. He'll update the GUI for you. Um, it, we we don't have to redo that section ever. We can just keep updating it. Uh, but we do have to rebuild the region. And what I mean by region is that all of this configuration, um, all of the nodes that we built, the actual creation of the cloud. So let's try to get. Let's see what our he's still saving that snapshot. Let's get to glance in the command line, and it's the same as we've been doing like uh, for removing a node they're the same types of commands uh, it's just we're talking to glance instead of Nova or Neutron so export uh, the external Juju and then let's go into the internal on landscape <coughs> and let's SSH over to the Glance node. Now I know, and if you built the cloud from these videos, you only have one Glance charm, so he's gonna be zero. So you can ggssh glance slash zero. And I'll show you how to build these commands on the website as usual because they are really long-winded. Again, you can uh, build an export file, but I, I like to show what I'm actually doing here. So we'll just take this as an example. So you have to do all the same things that you did uh, with any other command. You have to have your username, your tenant name, uh, your URL, uh, your password it, before you can do these commands. So let's just list all the images. Okay, so that web snap and the win is are the ones I want to save. Let's see what the so the GUI says web snap's good. So let's just do one to walk through it here. You have to 
image download and you can just do uh, dash dash file and save it wherever you want. I always choose to save things in the temp directory because most likely the permissions are pretty lenient there and we can we can get to it from different places. So we're just going to call this websnap.img and then you have to put the UUID of that image or snapshot after that. And depending on the size of the image, he's now going to move him over to the temp directory. Uh, that web snap probably isn't very large. 1.6 gig. So it'll take a minute to move it, uh, but not a real long time. Okay, that took about two minutes. Uh, one gig, not a big deal. But now you can go take a look in uh, temp and your image file will be there. So there you go, web snap image. And since we're not redoing mass, what I would suggest to you is just do a quick SCP of this file. Your user ID at mass. That way you can save them over there. After you rebuild the cloud or whatever you want to do, with this image, ship it to another cloud, you'll have the file. And let him copy. It's on the same network, so it won't take very long. Alright, now we have a copy of that file over in the temp directory on mass. Um, so let's go back to the GUI and delete this image again. <clears throat> so we'll delete it and then we'll do an image creation command uh, to rebuild it from the file. I just want to show you both sides of this. So you want to build a command that looks something like this. I know it's huge and I'm gonna put the example out there. Uh, but it's a it's a glance image create and you have to fill in all of these things, almost all of these things, uh, these fields up here uh, to get it to import or to create the image actually. So just name it whatever you want. Uh, set it to public or you can you don't have to but so everybody can use it. Uh, the container type will be bare. All of them are bare and we pretty much primarily use cow2, qcow2 formats and then you can uh, pull in the image file from your temp directory that we just saved. So now we're doing the reverse uh, and when this gets uploaded back we'll see it in the GUI and we'll see it uh, here when we do a list command uh, called web. Okay it took about two three minutes but then it gives us this report of uh, how it went and we can go ahead and do the status command image list and the one we deleted from the GUI is gone and now we have this new one called web you can go to the GUI let's refresh this guy and there he is so now just to come full circle what we've done is we have exported and then pretty much imported an image and we copied it over to Maz for safekeeping. There's my two images. So now when I blow this cloud away, I can just do this process, create these images via command line, and I didn't lose my image and I didn't lose my instance because you can come back to the GUI, go to instances, and you can launch an instance from an image and you can use web and you'll have the exact same server that you had before. Now next video we're gonna blow this whole thing away and uh, we're gonna rebuild from scratch so hope hopefully this was uh, useful and I'll see you on the next one.